if you try and figure out how to install wall oven cabinet this is going to be a great video for you guys let's get right to it Now what you see right here, this is your single oven cabinet. There's some modification to it, I'm just gonna show you in the middle. So usually you, you will be able to get either a double oven cabinet or a single oven cabinet. There is no such a thing where you can get uh, one for combo or one for this form, but just because there is no standard to it like your typical oven or for example typical refrigerators, they all have some sort of standards, standards so the cabinet is made for those type of standards. With the wall cabinet, with the wall ranges, wall ovens like that, you do not. So you have to modify your cabinet. So what I got right here, this is you're looking at a single oven cabinet. Where the problem is the single oven cabinet for me with having um, a combo, with having the microwave, uh, you see a picture right now, I'm gonna show you also in the end. Um, the opening have to be way much bigger, way much bigger. And if I get a double oven cabinet, the opening will be way too big, okay? So this particular cabinet came with three drawers. One, two, three. You have three, three, three drawers. Usually this is what you're gonna get on your oven cabinet. If you're getting a double cabinet, double oven wall cabinet, you will get only one drawer okay and like i said it's just gonna be way too big so when it's originally arrived to me as you see i, I cut it out i have to i literally had to drop this entire um shelf and it's really it was really too hard what i basically did i know it doesn't look pretty but you know it is what it is i basically cut it out all the way around with a saw and just drop this entire uh shelf now the shelf is not removable the shelf is was completely attached to the cabinet and you will tell me okay why would i just take the entire cabinet apart well the problem is this particular company this particular cabinet was already attached it was already built together and when they put them together they use staplers so entire cabinet was already put together guys if you order this particular cabinet and you have to put it together um yourself i highly recommend you to order this type of cabinet where you have to put it together yourself because while you're putting this cabinet together you can do all kind of adjustments it's much easier than you have then you have then then to have entire entire cabinet another tip how i got in this cabinet into this kitchen i had to cut the wall i had to i mean ceiling i had to cut the entire ceiling just the hole so when i when i enter my cabinet that was already put together a corner of it went into the ceiling and then i placed this cabinet yes i know i never thought about it that i wouldn't be able to fit eight foot cabinet which is 96 inch into eight foot ceilings right so i have you have to think about this okay so let's get to uh the cabinet I cut the cabinet down since I were not able to disassemble the whole cabinet and make it a right. So I basically just cut it out very carefully and I just slide down. I have to measure my um, uh, oven everywhere, everywhere. I mean, you have to measure that thing everywhere and, it, and the cabinet was completely off. I have to basically add this, these little pieces and this little pieces right here. I'm gonna get into this in a minute. So, <clears throat> these, these wall ovens, they're very, very heavy. And what I did right here, I basically built this entire support. Let me go ahead and turn uh, the light. Basically just built this entire support as you see right here and currently all the weight is spread evenly all the way around and the bottom shelf basically the bottom shelf is now going to be supporting the weight of entire oven which is pretty heavy you know you have to think about it. it's pretty heavy I'm gonna show you I built this whole 
table. I'm going to show you this in a minute. How are we going to slide this super heavy oven into this wall cabinet? So my cabinet have originally three drawers. So I basically just had to remove the, the separator right here. This, this piece, I had to remove this piece, drop this whole piece down and screw that piece into the frame just so I have a short drawer. Cabinet came with the one short drawer and two big drawers. So I were able to eliminate that and actually keep one drawer. So now I have a three drawer. Now, usually if you installing just single oven, you don't have to do all this. You don't have to do all this. Just because I have a microwave combo, I have to do all this whole nine yards um, and do all this, redo basically entire cabinet. If you have a double oven, just get the double oven cabinet and you will be able to slide this cabinet in and basically just to cut it out the piece right here. This part right here will be really, really um, thick. So I had to cut it out and cut it down. Basically, this is how it was looking. It was looking like this. So when you're installing your double or single oven cabinet, usually you just have to cut this piece and you'll, you will be done. But since I had a microwave, microwave oven a combo, I had to do all these things. So if you know that you're going to be getting a double wall oven you have to get a double um, wall oven cabinet and you basically just going to cut it out this strip on the top and you'll be able to slide this whole um, oven into the cabinet if you're getting a single oven uh, wall oven also just get the cabinet for a single wall oven Another thing, when you install this type of wall ovens, they have to be mounted on the top. They have to be somehow secured to your cabinet. And mine, I'm going to show you right now in a second. Mine basically is connecting on the top with a couple of screws. And that's what's going to hold your um, entire oven. Well, the problem is with this particular cabinet, the, th the thickness of the wall was not enough for me to screw in and support um, my particular oven. So I had to basically cut out with the trim. I was provided with the, with the trim when I bought my cabinets. I just basically cut it out and I attach these pieces on both sides of the cabinet. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's currently right now 28, um, 28 in the quarter, I think. So that's, that's the opening right now. But before it was just way too big and I would not be able to secure um, this oven at all. So you might have to do this on your particular um, cabinet anyway. So what I'm trying to bring to you that, you know, honestly, you, you will have to modify those type of cabinets a lot. There is really no way around, uh, but it just, you know, for you, a couple of tips um, how to do it. Now, how I secure entire cabinets to the wall, just like every other cabinets, you screw um, the cabinet in uh, to a, a wall. I put screw down there, put screw down there. I also put two over there, as you see, one over there and one down there. Uh, just in the studs and I also have a couple of screws down there that holding so basically now my cabinet is extremely tight and it's not going to go anywhere absolutely anywhere now let's talk about electricity and how are you going to wire your um, electricity there is really no video um, out there how to wire your electricity Obviously, make sure you don't have no power to the cables. Right now, breaker is off. And what I have here, this is a metal four inch box for your typical uh, wrench. I had to build entire wall in the back. This is a new wall, I completely remodeled my kitchen. I know it's not pretty, it's fine. It's nobody gonna see that in the back. Have to cut out the, basically a hole 
uh, to be able to get access to those wires. Another tip, make sure your outlet on the height that it will not interfere with your um, oven. I'm gonna show you in the middle how, I'm gonna show you right now how the side, how the back of uh, the oven looks like, and you will understand if um, the outlet would be like somewhere on the bottom, you will, your oven will, will basically wouldn't fit. It would just hit that outlet. Uh, while you're trying to push that in. So make sure you are able to install your oven and slide it in into your um, cabinet so uh, the, your oven will not interfere with uh, your outlet. Now how to connect? I chose to get just the regular um, outlet and the plug. Why? Because you cannot just connect these wires off the box and let them just hang there. Uh, this is completely unsafe and you will you will never gonna pass the code. I mean, you know, it, this, this is just unsafe. Not even talking about the code right now, just unsafe. You, you can just put the twist plugs on it and you can leave this cable somewhere right here off the box, just hanging there. I know nobody going to see it, but this is just going to be extremely unsafe to have the raw connections like this just just hanging there. So the all type of all connections like this have to be inside of the box, even that it's not covered. You have to be located inside, and make sure your box is also ground. Very very important step. This box I'm not going to be ground because when I put the ground. On, on my outlet, okay, if I put the ground on my outlet, my outlet will ground the box. So I don't have to um, install the ground and put actually separate ground for the box. If you wire, now I'm gonna show you a picture right now, uh, how usually when you hardwire these, this is how it looks. You have a wire that comes from the wall, comes from your breaker breaker box, and you have a wire that goes from the bottom or from the side that actually is coming from your oven. These wires have to be secured inside of the box to meet the code, uh, to, um, to be a safe. It, these type of wires have to be um, all hold inside of the box and all the connections all the hard wiring twists need to be inside of the box and like i said a box need to be ground uh, as well well the problem is with my setup i cannot really do this i have to cut um, more cabinet i have to cut the whole wall i have to basically have i have i basically will have to have a huge hole in the wall and i really don't do, i really don't want to do it i just want to have a plug and play connection so for that reason i spend more money and i actually got dedicated dedicated outlet my outlet is going to be like this just hanging and uh, when my friend come over and help me to move this outlet i'm going to put this already attached plug and just basically connect like I, it's like i said it will not interfere interfere with the back of the oven but this is the proper way this is the safe way to connect and you will pass any some sort of codes uh, do not hardwire these ovens and just let those twist connectors hanging somewhere like this or even if they're gonna be hanging inside of the box your wire that comes from your oven will not going to be secured to uh, your uh, box and while you installing your cabinet while you installing your oven and slide it in that oven inside of the cabinet um, you have a chance to interrupt those wires and pull on those wires accidentally and you will never going to know that you might have some 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 bad connection on one of the wires uh, and this is just going to be extremely unsafe now let me show you what i built um, just uh, so we can slide this heavy oven inside and i basically grabbed two by fours 
and uh, I'm gonna have this uh, plywood right here and we just I'm just gonna put plywood in here and then when my body come over we're gonna put this heavy um, oven on this kind of quick made table and I'll be able to connect the oven and we'll slide this entire thing inside and I will secure it. super easy make sure you build this it's just gonna be very very hard for you to hold your oven at the same time while you slide in it while you collect connecting it while you hard one it's just too much going on so make sure you build one of these things it's really cost just a couple of dollars um, you know I just have plywood just been laying around uh, but I went to the store and bought a couple of uh, two by fours they're like three bucks a piece and just build this right quick and just nail all that together and then I'm just gonna put it together and leave those scraps for some other time so we be, be, and, and, and another thing when you when you try to hold this super heavy oven super heavy oven you have a chance to hit your cabinet hit hit your cabinet here hit your cabinet on, on the bottom you're gonna put a lot of scratches with these type of deal i also actually going to put some a blue tape right here just to make sure i'm not gonna scratch anything while i'm in i'm inserting this oven but basically this is how we're going to do it and this is how you install those wall ovens into this cabinet i know video is getting pretty too long but just want to make sure i cover all specs um, so you know what you're doing while you're installing uh, these type of cabinets mm -hmm.